Make a 2 to 3 centimeter incision in the axilla at the inferior border of the pectoralis major. Bluntly dissect to identify the pectoralis major and the long head of the biceps tendon. Retrieve the previously tenotomized biceps tendon through the incision. Prepare the tendon at the desired length and pierce the tendon at the transition point of the suture tag to secure in place while holding the other end of the clamp. Next, wrap the suture completely around the tendon and then pass the needle through the suture tag and tendon at the starting point. Take care to pass the needle behind the suture limbs on the underside to create a ripstop. Be sure to tension each limb independently to ensure the stitch is secure. For each subsequent throw, the suture is wrapped around the tendon and then secured in place by penetrating through the suture tag and tendon. The needle and suture limbs should be passed behind the wrapped suture limbs to create a running ripstop. A third row around the tendon and through the suture tag and tendon is recommended. Cut at the transition point to remove the needle, taking care to leave enough length for shuttling. The suture tag looping stitch is now complete and ready to be incorporated into the fiber tack button. Place the fiber tack button drill guide at the desired location on the bony surface of the proximal humerus and drill a unicortical hole with a 2.6 mm spade tip drill. Keep the drill guide in place and insert the fiber tack button through the guide. Lightly tap on the inserter handle until the inserter is flush with the drill guide. Remove the orange suture release tab to remove the sutures from the inserter handle. Remove the implant inserter and drill guide. Lightly pull evenly on the fiber links to assure the button is deployed. Separate the fiber links, blue and white black on each side, and pull each link to ensure it slides. Shuttle one of the suture tag limbs through the button using one of the fiber links. Use slight tugs once the suture meets the button sheath. Hold slight tension on the opposite suture links while shuttling to ensure the anchor remains in place. Pull lightly on the remaining shuttle link to verify that the button is set. Shuttle the second suture tag limbs using the remaining link in the same manner. Use the tension slide technique to reduce the tendon onto the bone. Pass one limb back through the tendon and tie a knot to complete the repair. The fiber tag button can also be implanted bicortically for an inlay repair in conjunction with a tenodesis screw.